All right. Hmm. Oh, it shows me ats now. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Could play if in. Oh, but he causes huge problems. Shoot. Let's just play human. Do if and these hairstyles are garbage. <laughs> What's up, Zero? Yeah, I'm going to play Ifin because uh, I want to play Human. I was going to play Beast for some memes, but I have an achievement with uh, Ifin I can get. So. Should I make him look like an old man? Let me th yeah, what do you think? Should I make him look like an old man? Like gray hair and everything? <laughs> that beard. <laughs> uh... Gandalf <laughs> I could just play a custom and I should just play custom and then play Gandalf what do you think <laughs> now nah, I'll, I'll play if and I'll just make him look old uh, is that the best flowing hair it has oh that hair is garbage it's all garbage that one's terrible I'll do that I'll do that one that I was looking at first no wait is that that is oh no this one <laughs> what are these faces oh my gosh hey what's up I got people in the chat amazing was that Ivan's face I think it's Ivan's face yeah it is all right. Shoot. 
Sure, there's Ifin for ya. Let's fix this trash. Hydro, arrow. Bro, I have like never actually played a Hydro Arrow Mage through the entire game. It's like the only build I haven't because I know it's it's pretty bad. Like it's even worse than Pyro G Pyro Giro Geo. It actually probably will be more consistent the whole game, but it won't be as good. Cause those are two different things. Does he have Scholar? He does. So he has quests he just can't do because he doesn't have Scholar. Hmm. That's actually really frustrating. Because he can't do the quest in Act 2 with the Silent Monk. Uh, what else can't he do? I can't think off the top of my head, but there's more he can't do. But we'll deal with it. It's not make or break. Alright, we'll see how trash this build is. Intelligence, Hydro Arrow, Thievery. Got those. Looks like an old man. Fantastic. Larian Studios. Hopefully they do a good job on the third game with combat mechanics. So, ah. still a bit easy. You made me get rid of Encourage, an actually decent skill. Come on. Um, sure. The things I do to complete a contract. <laughs> things I do. He's an assassin, but he's a mage. It's gonna be great. Uh. Oh, yeah, I, I'm not saying I don't enjoy the combat mechanics in this game. I just mean, hopefully they do good on the third one with making them well designed from a balanced perspective. Because they're pretty pretty darn horrible here. Assassin made mage? We'll just put Gorilla on him. Yeah, we'll put, we'll put Gorilla on him, and then uh, every fight we'll just sneak and then open up with, like, Superconductor or something. Be beautiful. We'll spend 4 AP to sneak. Okay, let's put a let's put a dagger on our uh, assassin mage here. I'll probably want to run a shield in Act One until I get some crit wands. There we go, now we're an assassin. Fantastic. Oh, that's funny. Actually, if I, I can't, I don't actually know where it is. There's a dagger now that has like 30% crit chance on it. Um, so, I'll actually be dual wielding a wand and a dagger late game. Get all that money. You know, I need to look up the uh, crafted skills. Any mods? No, no mods. Not even my mods, so uh, mages will be as bad as they are in vanilla. Yeah, all my solo runs I've done, I've not used any mods. Just vanilla. Like, if I was doing Lone Wolf, I'd use difficulty mods, but using no Lone Wolf kind of makes it difficult enough that I don't feel it's necessary to run difficulty mods. And it would be, it would be a pain and suffering, even beyond just vanilla. If I did, like, divine scaling or something, it'd get really rough for no reason. Like, I'm playing a mage, and I'm playing no lone wolf. So that should be enough to make it, uh, very difficult. Tight 
to read these skills because it's like good grief. I like never use these ever. Probably actually should have grabbed Polly first. Because it might get be hard to finish this ship. So, gotta, gotta run across it without getting killed. Or stunned. The dog might kill me. Ooh, a hat. Put a hat on our uh, our mage there. Looks classy. So we will need to get one pyrokinetic from gear. But we'll see how easy that is to get. Behind the majesty. Easy now. You're paying me arse. Why don't you move along? Waters is investigating. Aren't you in? Go ahead. A young magister stands pale and silent. Her knuckles whiten around her weapon as you pass. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's my quest item, because I'm ifing. What the heck? The $10 for these? Oh, I need those. Okay, open her inventory. So hers generates... My first time playing? No, I've done solo no, no, Lone Wolf uh, three times before. Play 20th? Yeah, here's my hours. This is inaccurate. I have some offline time too. Oh, I need to open the door. No, I just started this run. That's why I'm at the beginning. Okay, it's open. Alright. Time for the hardest fight in the game. Freaking getting to the door before I die. <laughs> Miss. Need to be a little closer so he can see me. Okay, trip on the ice. Oh, she's gonna walk around it. Oh, she didn't even go that far. Okay. What I wanted it to have is the dog move. Oh, he walked there. Rip. Um. Is it worth waiting? Uh, yeah. I'm just going for Hydro Arrow. Because it's the worst build I've done so far. As far as the weakest build. So it'll be. This, this run will be more difficult. Okay, come on. I need the dog to move over there. So he doesn't one-shot me. Hmm. I hate to make you guys just sit here and wait, but, like, I just need him to move so I don't have to do this again. Go. I just don't know how long the animation is for them to walk over there. <clears throat> oh, okay, never mind. Is the dog close enough now? I wonder. No, it's not going to work. 
Rain is one AP. I don't have have enough AP. Yeah, I should have just take, taken Polymorph. And then gotten skills later. Now go away. Ah, he does. Now, if we're lucky, Fane will walk through the door and then throw a fossil strike at them. Look at Sabeel already playing the meta. Okay, never mind. She walked away. She failed. Am I going to get double opportunist? Wait, it said he had opportunist, right? Yeah, what the heck? He didn't attack me. Yeah, you can start a fight with all the people on the ship and then get about a thousand XP for free. That's what I'm doing. Basically, you just initiate the fight, and then you walk in here, and then window go kills them all. And since they're all in combat, you get the XP. She kills them all, like, normally, but because they're not in combat, you don't get XP for it. So by doing this, we force it to give us XP. That way, we can get level 2 before we even leave the ship. It's also very annoying because it takes forever to do, but it'll be fine. So yeah, open the door. So the step is do your thing, talk to the companions you want to recruit just so you can get some the lore or whatever. Walk over to here, talk to the guy standing by the door, or just click on the door. Finish the conversation so he opens the door. And then once the door is open, run over here. Attack one of the two guards standing here and then just run across like I am doing right now. And then once you get to this room, you can just hit one of the Magisters or Wendigo in that room and then she kills them all. So yeah, I'm just going to go in here. They join combat. So I could just pass my turn and then when they take a turn, she just kills them all. Or if I do this... Now she kills them all. And then we got that much XP. What's happened? I need to put the solo 
run rules in the description. They're not necessary, but they I feel like they're useful. Also, herrings um, are is actually an item we want. We need herrings in this run, a lot of them, because we can craft rain scrolls with them. That body is inconveniently placed. It's hard to click on her. Yeah, and since we traded with these Magisters earlier, they drop more stuff. They're also dropping a lot of the stuff we sold them. So we got some extra health potions, extra revived scrolls, which you don't really need, but we can sell them. For some money, which is why I'm picking all this stuff up. It's annoying and time-consuming. But it's, it's nice to have a little bit of extra gold to buy some more skills. That way I can buy some skills, uh, like level 2 and 3. And then when we hit level 4, we can still rob everyone for more skills. Um, no, I will not. Um, uh, because that basically just kind of sort of defeats the honor mode thing. Because you can die and then you can just go revive yourself. There will be a single part in this game. Maybe twice, I'm not sure. There will be a single uh, single fight in this... Not fight. Just a single point in this game where I recruit a, a, a companion. Because I need, in Act 1, I need a character with Pet Pal to unlock a trader. So I will recruit them, unlock the trader, then dismiss them. So they will never see combat. So it will still be a solo run, I'm just using them to get Pet Pals temporarily. I don't feel like that breaks the spirit of solo, so... And you know, it's it's a solo run I'm doing, and so I can kind of set the rules, but... But yeah, that's the only time I'll be recruiting someone. And I, I don't think I, there's really a use for backpacks in this game. I mean, I will, at late game, I'll have 5 strength, because I'll be doing uh, doing this thing in Act um, 3 that lets me trade stats for other stats, so I can trade strength for intelligence. I think it's intelligence, or it's memory and strength. I can't remember which one. But yeah, I'll, I'll have to carry less stuff, but it'll be fine. I've done it before. Okay, this dog. You know, ironically, this might be the easiest time to kill this dog because I have so much CC. Oh, he doesn't care. Is there no music? Oh, there is. Oh, he's already stunned. Rip. Mage with easiest dog kill. I know, right? Now they're meta tier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hardest everything else, yeah. Hey, a shield. Okay. Looky there. Why did I get no magic armor? Oh, there we go. Oh, 
Okay. We succeeded. Holy crap. might actually be fun to play which is hilarious to me like that actually feels weird to say it might be fun a scourge wizard which would be which would be what is that like a torturer thing oh it's like a DPS mage yep the problem is everything in this game is a DPS And if it's not DPS, it's just crying in the corner. Pretending it would be useful ever. Or hoping it would be. Um, I don't know. That's just, that's just it. I can play trash builds and then like have fun. Like I did on the last mage run. The last mage run, I would honestly say, was probably my favorite solo run. But, I don't know. I say it might be fun because I like of all things in this game, this is the build I've never played before. I played a lone wolf run with a friend and I played Hydro Arrow till like act two. But like that's the extent I've done with this build, like of this class. Yeah, the retribution build, that was I, I would have actually done that. But I thought about maybe doing that, but it'd be too hard without Lone Wolf. And Retribution needs to be honestly like ten percent per point to be good. But yeah, I'll probably have fun with this. It'll probably be super annoying at times because I'll have to work on not stunning myself, but that shouldn't be a hard mid-game once I get some decent magic armor. So I don't stun myself. Because ideally, I make everything rain before I fight. Um, now I level up here. Here we go. Oh, I don't level up? What? Why don't I level up? Riker. Why would Riker be a pain? He's like a kill in one turn kind of boss. I haven't looked at his resistances before, but I mean he's like one shot him kind of thing. Act one will actually be easier for this mage probably. Than uh, Pyro Geo because I don't have to deal with the. It's not as hard of a fight to do like the fire skeletons and things. Oh, yeah. We'll see. I'm sure it'll be okay. See how close I am to stunning myself just now? I mean, it's because I have no gear, but it's funny. This Void Woken gave up on life. Am I stunned? What? 
Excuse me. Just undid itself, just came back. That's stupid. Watch me stun myself. Alright, while they're taking turns, I'm going to grab my drink. Never played DOS one, so I don't know some of the lore. But I was just wondering, is Deathlog man made or something? I have no idea. I didn't play much of any of DOS one either. I bought it after I played DOS two, and I was like, hey, maybe I'll play this, but I never really did. And I'm not very invested in the lore either, anyways. So I care about the gameplay more. And there we go, level two. Alright, let's see if we get lucky. This kid on this beach sometimes has a ring. So we can steal it from him. So, so it's like rare though. One thing. We are trapped void woken. This again. Am I the lone survivor? Now luck if if we're lucky he gives us a pyro ring. Come on, give it to us, bud. Give it to us. Ah. Rip. Got lock picks though, that's nice. Ship. 
Ah, rip. Does it matter? We'll be fine. He's a fan. He said he's a fan. Really? Frozen reduces water resistance, not air. Okay. Look very dated and lacking. This game seems to be very, very, a very rather large upgrade. Yeah, in, in visuals definitely and polish definitely. I don't think it's necessarily an improvement in mechanics, but it is a good game. Oh my god, the the freaking uh, electric frog is going to be a pain. I shouldn't have used those. Um, dang it. I, I know this kind of sucks, but I'm going to reload this. I need those I need I need those fireball scrolls. So, sorry to disappoint. Only times I will tolerate or enjoy old graphics is if it's tied to nostalgia of own personal experience. Otherwise, I prefer more updated, polished graphics. Yeah, as much as I would like to think that I don't think that way, I do think that way as well. If that makes sense. Because, yeah, I'm the same way. Like, what was it? Like, probably the first game I ever remember playing as a kid was Lego Racer. And, like, I don't know why, but, like, why I was talking with, about, like, old games with my friends or whatever. I'm like, someone mentioned Lego Racer, and I was like, I immediately went online and then tried to find out how I could download it. Just because of nostalgia. It's like, it's freaking Lego Racer, and <laughs> I'm trying to download it. Uh. Is he on water? Can't tell if he's on water. No. He's shocked though. Oh my god, get that trash out of here. All 
All right, fine. Lego Racer stream win? I actually couldn't get it working. Maybe I can try like a uh, compatibility mode. No one watched that trash though. <laughs> uh, dude, but I do want to get it working at some point. I'm not even kidding. Like, hey, I can't even get people to watch Divinity if it's not the solo runs. Which is fair, because like it's not very, it's not a very interesting game to watch. I don't think, so it has to be something like this to be interesting. Okay, now we're good. We got the pi fireball scrolls we can loot, use later. One of my first games was a Lego game on PC, and pretty sure uh, it was one of the first Lego games, if not the first Lego game. You would skate around delivering pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> uh, yeah, the first game I literally ever remember playing was Lego Racer. I can't think of what else I played on that computer when I lived there. But then after that, I remember getting a PS2. My parents bought me a PS2. And then I remember I got first place on the first one I ever did on that game. Like, against the AI or whatever. And I was like six. And I still remember it. It was great. Gran Turismo 5? I can't remember. Something like that. Um, then, like... I played a lot of Ratchet and Clank when I was a kid, too. So, like... Uh, what was it? I had a friend who had a PSP. And, like, I was like, Oh, hey, let me play on that. Because he had, like, the Ratchet and Clank games on it. And uh, that was, like, the first time in my life I had ever gone back and played a game that I played as a kid. And I was literally crying because I was playing Ratchet and Clank after, like... 10 years of not playing it. It was amazing. Because nostalgia is amazing. Never had that feeling. <laughs> Which is why I wanted to download Lego Racer. Racer. I was like, it's going to be great. Okay, ma more magic armor. That's good. Again. Playing a floppy disk game I got it from Taco Bell. It was like Donkey Kong, but Taco Bell thing. Uh amazing what is this fire see so can't he, he does he have mystic the child there we go lit literally lit Yeah, I, I, I do not go back and play old games enough. Because, honestly, I don't have a whole lot of old games that I remember playing. But the ones I do, I do need to go back and play. I should have done some rain. Oh, it doesn't work. The bug doesn't work. Can this this class pull this off at level two, or do we need to, do I need to come back? I don't have lore master. See, I should have given myself affinity before I started this. 
Yeah, I don't know if this class can do this. Shoot. That's not what I wanted. Alright, this just got way harder. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Hey, look at that. How kind of him. I think we can do this. Should stun him. There we go. So we got two AP stun locks on him now. Just need to not die. Yeah, I may need to come back to this. You can just stun him. Yeah, I'll come back. This is just too much of an annoyance to do. No reason to do it if I don't have to. The class is too weak to pull it off. Like Ranger or even Pyro Mage, this would be easy. Just not enough damage. Like, it doesn't matter if this class is CC, if it just, like, it's actually pretty bad at CC. Once you get Superconductor and, uh, it gets easier, but... Because then you actually have real mass stuns. And Winter Blast is pretty good. Also, a problem with this class is getting air affinity. Um, like, we have to sort of pre buff air affinity um, because a lot of the air spells are really costly. Also, another problem with getting that air affinity is that it'll shock us out of our uh, invisibility. So it'll make life harder as well. This is not your business. Don't let up, Elf. No one shorts Griff. You two. Now come on, Elf. We got a system. Yep, it's really bad. Yeah, 
It says it won't hit me. Also, if I'm standing in the same water surface as the enemy, as an enemy without um, magic armor, the shock on the surface will go to them and stun them and remove the shock. So it'll be harder to maintain affinity that way as well. <sighs> hey, there we go. Missed him and stunned her. That's amazing. But hey, this works pretty well. I'm going to stun myself, though, just by hitting him. What? How does that even work? I don't know. Follow me. There. Okay, should we save scum a ring? I feel like saves coming. Let's do it. Screws, bolts, and scraps of metal. Uh, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll deal with it. Gave me a nice ring, so it's telling me I shouldn't save scum. sheet of paper it is keep that oh she's too broke there we go we have to hydro now so we don't have to put another point in hydro next level or in that level three at least so this is for joy scram leave him be listen shut up El this clown supplies all i want is my supplies <laughs>
Thankfully, so we're just gonna buy from her right now because we can steal from her later. This fella could use a little comfort. Wouldn't be a proper healer. The creature he you now a little the creature darling the creature be for you It's a good amount of magic armor for this level at least Good armor frost. It's really good. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Literally, it's good because it'll help me from stunning, uh, help keep myself from stunning myself. So, so yay. Where'd the one I didn't sell? There it is. Alright, get the oranges. This looks like the crate I'm after. Where are the contents? Huh? What? And you? And you? Smell of orange. Though I'd guess Mr. Griff is more upset about the. It's. I need to dream. Druden, it may be hard before I adjust it so you see. To save a. Never mind. That's good. Now, since we're level 3 in a second here, we can go back and do the turtles. We should level up. Griff, glance at Griff. Takes like every freeze of cat. It's at a kid. Perhaps it does. It is done. I hold my end. Give me. I go. 97. Really? Okay, we'll go to the cave then. Wait, I am thank you. Crash. I am flying. I am flying. This is worth the most. Yes, they do. It is as you say. I she breaks into a one fresh she squeaks. I do not summoning. Ooh. Yeah, baby. That's nice. That's very nice. There we go. Ice King. <laughs> Help me, 
this again. Okay, I have um Are these like the only good damage spells at rank 1? One second. I got, I literally have to google, which is hilarious when I have a thousand hours in this game. Let's google what the skills are. Even the combo skills. What's my favorite type of skills? The ones that do a lot of damage. So uh, necromancy probably would be. Well, actually, my favorite skill in the game has to be ballistic shot. It's the best skill in the game for me. Fake hours. Shut it, Kai. Okay, where are these skills? Skill list. Okay. Blinding Radiance, so it's close range. I don't want that. Shocking Touch, same thing. Um, yeah, no other good rank one. Um, where are the combo skills? So where's the combo list of skills? Skill crafting. Craft the skills. You go by Roach now, shut it. Okay, so Arrow and Huntsman, nothing good. Um, and then the Hi Huntsman Hydro stuff is just healing, and no one wants that. Vaporize? Vaporize. Remove Petrified and Frozen from target character. Doesn't do any damage. This is vanilla. Sorry, I'm tabbed out looking at possible skills I can add for the next couple of fights, but it looks like I'm out. This is literally all I have. I have three damage skills. Okay, well, I guess we're putting points in damage then. All right. We got a saves come this then. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove. Uh, mage, I did the Pyro Geo Mage. I'm just, and that was on Classic Edition. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of Hydro is a damage skill line too. -like but having the Summoner, I don't hate screw. myself as that that much. So. All right. So an option is I take summoning, and then I use a summon to help me in the next few fights. Unsubbing. You can't even sub to me. I'm not even uh, like an affiliate. I don't know. Should, I feel like that, that's just no fun. I don't want to do summoning. I need the pyro ring. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps. Warfare is telling me I should be playing a real class. I just need this pyro ring because this is going to be really painful without. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps. Um, Geo. You know, I could get four to five, but. Pyro will let me get the buffs and um, at least some kind of temporary damage. Since I have so few skills. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove like contraption fitted. And then probably need to craft a wand, an arrow wand. But then I lose my armor, so I stun myself. Rip. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. Okay. 
Alright, this should make things easier. Okay, talent. What the heck do I take? Lone wolf? <laughs> uh. So I don't have I don't I don't have to worry about getting anything at level four. Gorilla, right? <laughs> Opportunist for sure. Oh my god. Nah. Literally warfare on the mage. See if this bug is still here. Is it still here? No, it's not. What do you mean WTF is this? I know I keep jumping around. This ain't Act 69? No, it's Act uh, Act 1, boy. No, I put a hold on the balance run for now. I just feel like playing this. What's up, Lord Funk? How you doing? Play as a mage? Why? Because I hate my life. Oh, we got it. We got the bug. Look at that. I'm doing good. I actually feel pretty good right now. <clears throat> You can hit me from there? Oh no, what did he hit? What did he attack? The ground? Oh, Sir Laura. Uh, what kind of build is that? Oh, it's gonna be a Hydro Arrow Mage. 
that he hates himself built yes exactly exactly what Lord Funk said that's all you need to know oh shoot don't remove me from combat no stop Mages are incredibly weak in this game. <clears throat> they are acceptable, but they are they are just very poor in general. So Oh, the early game, mid game, and late game trash. They're actually good late game. Like I will actually go as far as to say they are one of the strongest builds in the game late game. Actually, not even melee. Um, in particular, Ranger and um, Necromancer. But yeah, melee like Rogue and Knight are also meta tier. So the problem with this game is damage is the most important thing you can do, and mages struggle with that. So okay, now they made my they, this made my life harder because now I have to walk walk over here. Yeah, they, they, you'll see they struggle. Like, what was it? I was playing, um, why are they bad? Um, okay, so I'll explain. So first off, their resistances. I have a two-minute video compilation of enemy resistances, and it's hilarious. It's ridiculous. Well, it's not hilarious. It's actually depressing. Um, and then second of all, for example, if you're a, if you're a, uh, any kind of physical class, like a ranger or a mage, and uh, sorry, not a ranger, a mage, like a ranger, knight, necromancer, or rogue, you put all your points in your main damage stat, you come over here to combat abilities, you put all your points in warfare, then when you're done with that, you put all your points in scoundrel, and all of a sudden, all your points are buffing a single damage type. Meanwhile, in a mage, you have to sacrifice some of your intelligence points to just put points in memory, because you can't do damage unless you have a lot of spells. So you have less of your damage stat, then you come over to combat abilities, and oh wait, you have multiple damage stats you have to stack. So on this build, I have to do Arrow Thurge and Huntsman, or not Arrow Thurge and, Hun Arrow Thurge and Huntsman, I have to do Arrow Thurge and Hydro, so I'm actually putting half the points in each. Meanwhile, the physical classes are doing all their points in Warfare, so I'm doing less damage there. Um, then, uh, when it comes to spells, the multipliers on, on spells in general are worse. Um, in particular, the reason I've never done this class before is because the multipliers on Hydro and Arrow spells are even less. Because, for some reason, Larian thought it would make sense if skill spells that did CC um, had lower multipliers. So, these da these spells, like, this is actually not even efficient damage. It's not even 150% damage if you hit with all three projectiles. This, I think, is efficient damage. I think it's 100% multiplier. I can't remember. But yeah, it doesn't make sense in this game to have spells that do CC do less damage because it means you're less likely to apply the CC because you're not able to break their armor as easily. So if you get where I'm going with that. Um, also, yeah, also um, another reason splitting damage um, with these stats is bad is because... Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I, ho I hope I make sense of what I'm saying. But, um, but yeah, then also... Uh, I'm going to blow your mind with this, but what if I told you the higher level you are in this game, the less damage you do? Basically, the higher level you are, um, the base damage of weapons and spells decreases relative to vitality. So at level 1, um, a neutral spell like with 100% multiplier, uh, a neutral spell, so like 100% multiplier like on, let's say, like Fireball. Fireball, for example, is a, a neutral. So it has 100% damage, so let's take this ring off. So 100% damage, we have 16, oh, so 30%, so they're 30% less than this, what's that, so 100, it's base, basically, the reason is because, yeah, 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 I know, but basically, yeah, so at level 1, a neutral spell does about 20% of base vitality, so at level 1, you have about 30, 30 health, um, so 20% of that would be like 100% multiplier spell, so like, if we calculate, so fireball at level one does um, six damage. Then at level twenty, it's half that. So at level twenty, um, I actually have the stats up. But yeah, basically you end up doing half the amount of damage, half the damage at level twenty that you do at level one. Um, so the higher level you are, the more you're punished for not stacking damage. So like for example, if you have a tank, so this isn't just mages. This is any kind of non-damage build even. So like if you have a tank, 
your your tank will do half the damage at level 20 that they were doing at level one because um usually a tank is doing things like constitution and stuff so you have to have 30 points in your main damage stat to even break even because you do less damage at higher levels if that makes sense i know that's complicated but i actually have a chart that shows um how damage decreases over time but yeah it's 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 a bunch of bullcrap So yeah, and my, my mod. Um, the reason you, the reason they did that is because Larian assumes you're exploiting damage. Because oh, did I put the ring? I did. So, so for example, like just put this in perspective with other games you may have played like this. The cap on these stats is 40. So if you have 40 points in one of these stats, that's 150 percent more damage. So the difference between a character that doesn't have intel intelligence and a character that does is more than double. Instead of like, oh, they're 30% better at this, but they're just less good at other things. It's no, like, literally they're over 150% better when they have points in intelligence at, like, with 40. Then you come over here, and then, like, for example, let's say, like, a ranger. Let's say they, at end game get 50%, 50 50 uh, finesse um, because they have some gear and stuff that gives them finesse. So they're doing 300% damage because that's 100% base damage plus 200% from stats, so 300% damage. Then they come over to Warfare, they put 10 points in Warfare, so they have 50% of 300%, so they're doing 450% of their base damage. Then you come over here and like you add some high ground and crit, and then you're doing like 800% of your base damage. So they're compensating for the fact that your character is multiplying their damage like by a crazy amount. Like if you go and play Pillars of Eternity 2, for example, You'll go in there and you'll be like, oh, look, the might stat, because there's a might stat uh, instead of like strength and, and finesse and intelligence. There's just one damage st stat called might. It's 3% per level. And at end game, you might have 20, like 30, because you put only like that. Like if it, in character creation, you put all your points in might, it's 30% um, with like 20, uh, 20 might. Then with buffs, you might get to like 30. Yeah, I, I'm working on a single mod. I felt like this, this game had so many balance issues. I made a mod and I'm working on it. But yeah, you go play Pillars, the, the, they do so much better with making sure damage isn't so out of control. Um, but yeah, enough rambling, let's get back to flame. Oh yeah, I love this game, so like, that's why I hate it so much. I love it because I hate it, because that makes sense. Yeah, the change log should be in the description. Um, and when you read it, uh, one thing to keep in mind is all the changes are done with uh, new player experience in mind. Um, or like, not nearly new player, but like um, they're done with um, player choice in mind. So none of, the, none of the balance decisions in that mod are made for the sake of making the game harder in any way. Therefore making the game more, more fun and have more freedom. So the idea is with the mod, you have more freedom with build choice and like class composition and stuff. <laughs> the full blown answers, yeah, no, no problem. I like I like answering questions. So if you have any questions about this game, just go ahead and ask. And this this video, I mean, <laughs> taking notes. This video is recorded. If you want to like listen again and hopefully maybe decipher my bad explanation, but. You know, I should put the chart, um, like my the Google uh, Google sheet in the description as well, because that has all my charts for like the damage decreasing over time and stuff. When do I get to subscribe to the mod? Um, it's honestly gonna take several more weeks, but I'll tell you what, like if people want to play it, they can friend me on Steam, because I have it on friends only right now. Um, because it, it still needs some work and there's it's a little bit buggy. But as long, like, it's buggy in ways, like, you can exploit certain things. Like, I made, for example, I made Savage Sortilage um, a universal talent, so, like, everyone has it for free. Because it makes no sense why spells shouldn't crit, because spell users are already weaker. So, like, why do you have to take a talent just to crit? But then, um, there's a bug with it, where if you respec, 
you can infinitely gain talent points because you keep unspecking this and then the game gives you it back for free but then you still have the talent point so there's things like that i need to fix still which is like the main thing that's holding me back because i have to learn scripting and i'm not like that much of a coder so it'll take me some time to do that but yeah i mean i hope i have it done soon lone wolf is op well as far as op goes in this game but yeah i'm not using it for the sake of the challenge or should I say, air quote, challenge. Oh. Lord Funk, if you think that's hard, go on YouTube and look up Sinti. And look at literally any of his lone wolf runs, and your mind will be blown. And you'll see why people say it's see it say it's op. Um, for what class? A drawsd. All right, so I'll, I'll give you the min-max um, talent path for a mage. If you're playing with a four-man party and you feel like you're comfortable with controlling round robin, um, and I'll explain what round robin is in a second, glass cannon is literally the strongest talent you can take on any class in the entire game, ever. But that's if you understand how to control round robin. Otherwise, uh, for, solo, for solo, in this case, I took elemental affinity because uh, I'm not actually standing. I am standing on it. So for example, I'm actually on this water, so now I have this spell for cheaper. So I'm increasing increasing my um, spell efficiency and damage efficiency by using elemental affinity. Um, Executioner is also good. Not even kidding, you look, look over here, I put a point in warfare just so I could take this talent. That's how good it is. Um, so for talents, you're really looking for the ones that help you do damage better and help you have more AP because AP equals damage. So this lets me cast more spells for cheaper, so that's more damage. This gives me more AP, which means I can cast more spells for more damage. Um, then, uh, so other talents would be, so if I were in a, if I were, so for this one, I'm gonna do Elemental Affinity, um, Executioner. Uh, I'm not taking Glass Cannon because that causes problems and then it kind of defeats the purpose of not doing Lone Wolf in, in some regards. So yeah, Elemental Affinity, Executioner, then I'll probably temporarily take five star diner because I'm gonna get that um, blood rose elixir, so I can get some extra stats from that. Then later I'll switch that to um, savage sword lich. Then I'll take hot head. Then I'll take five star diner again. Now for a now for a four man run, what I do for this exact kind of build for either pyro geo or hydro hydro, I cannot speak either for pyro geo or hydro arrow for a mage build, I would go glass cannon, elemental affinity. Execute well, not executioner. I skip executioner. Um, then I do savage sorlage, hothead, then executioner. So yeah, the basically elemental affinity, glass cannon, executioner, and the crit talents. All right, man. Thanks, Lord Funk. I really appreciate you coming and hanging out. Have some fun, man. All right. Oh my God, seventy three armor. Also. Rain um, lingers for a turn, so it's going to remove my invisibility if I cast rain. is actually going to be a pain to fight her. Oh my god. I should have moved back over last turn.
Wooden glass beat cannon be too dangerous? Um, in some cases, yes. In most cases, no. So the main concern with those is if enemies have like AOE terrifies um, while I'm invisible. Because they tend to cast AOEs when you're invisible. If they have them. I just need to break her armor. Because then it'll be easy. Wait, did she just get more armor? Or am I, am I just seeing things? Gonna hope this is positioned right. She has perseverance. Get that trash out of here. It's gonna be like the hardest fight in the entire game. Oh my god. Stop drinking milk. Jesus Christ. I don't even have affinity. It's not, not close enough. Why did she get 17? Why didn't she get shocked at all? Oh. Yeah, but last time she got three from Perseverance. So she got three for 17 the first time, three the second time, then 17 again. I don't even get it. What are you doing? It's gonna hit the ceiling, isn't it? Okay, it didn't. Thank God. Oh, you didn't get stunned? Wonderful. She keeps hitting magic shell back. She didn't get any perseverance that time. Okay, I think I just.
just kill her. Thank God. Good grief. Okay, she should have a fireball scroll here. See how ridiculous that was to do with a mage? Like, what the heck? <laughs> just killing a freaking civilian with a dagger. Hardest fight done. Yes. Okay, I think we just call it here, guys. Because, like, uh, you know. The rest is a joke, you know, that was just the hardest one. Boring. All right. Magic armor, yay. Okay. Dude, I have three offensive spells for the croc... Two offensive spells for the crocodiles. I don't know, man. Like, that's just... They're gonna come melee range, so I probably should... Should grab Shocking Touch. And back again. He seems to be swimming deep in his thoughts and doesn't look up as you approach. Are you interested? This fan is not enough to get. So, what's the news? There we go. I'm gonna go get haste. Amidst a crowd of and then I need to craft some wands. Metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. An echo? Hmm. One second, let me check my mic. Like a game echo or my voice? Because I am playing through speakers. Game? Okay. I'll turn my I'll turn my uh game volume down. Let me make sure it's still loud for you guys though. Gain. Oh, hey. Shoot! Damn it. Damn it! She drank the invisibility potion and I didn't save at a good place. All right, fine. Group life. That kind of sucks. Let me know if the game is too loud now. He just hit himself with a fireball.
Ooh. Would you look at that? Yeah, that really does suck. What do you mean, watch what you're doing? You're the one who walked into the cloud. Good grief. I got that suck because I lost a invis bot because invis pots are limited in Act One. Whatever, extra challenge, right? How are you almost dead? Don't walk away dude, you're gonna die. Don't hit yourself either. And that does suck, I lost the potion. We'll be Thank fine. You. Don't mention my name to me. <coughs> Please. Or should I take a damage spell? I have three fireballs, I probably won't need all three. Mention my name to me. <coughs> Please. I think actually I should just buy Shocking Touch. Or no, I'm out of slots. Well, yeah, I can t I get rid of a. Uh, I can get rid of Armor of Frost. I have a scroll anyway. Nah, favorable wind would be the best. I don't even know why that's a spell in this game. To be quite frank. Um, Elf is best for every class the in the entire game. Beyond that, Human is be next best, and then Lizard is next best for Mage, and then Dwarf is just strictly worse for every- worse. Dwarf is literally the worst for basically every build in the game. Unless you're trying to do like a dodge thing, and then they'd be better than Lizards, but but yeah, elf is best for everything unless you have to use a shield because then they because they drop their shields whenever they use flesh sacrifice. Um, then it's humans because they have ingenious because they get more damage. But yeah, I do like the lizard build with a mage. You do sword. Sh I'm not sword shield. You do wand shield because the shield will help you from killing yourself with like supernova and stuff. And then you do pawn and elemental affinity, 
because then you use uh, Dragon's Blaze, like, in front of you, and then you use Pawn to walk onto the fire surface, then you use, like, other fire spells with the elemental affinity, like Supernova. Hardest build mage or something. <laughs> something challenging. Alright, you want something challenging? Um, solo healer, no lone wolf. There you go. <laughs> uh, no, if you want like a real like, you could play summoner solo and then cry, because summoner's worse than mage. I don't need fire affinity. What are you doing? Madman. Walk forward. I dare you. Dang it. Scrub. He knows he'd get stunned. What the fudge? And what is this turn order garbage? Like, I don't even know how that stunned me when he was standing on ice. I don't even know. Nine magic armor. He's going to do physical damage. See if those re those uh, gloves are good. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is initiative. Yes, please. Okay, now we can do the Crocs. Good God, we're gonna die. Oh boy. Heck, might as well put these on there. I only mean that if you think about it logically, she's much better off. Leave it, Sam. I won't say it again. Yep, the Crocs.
There are some easier fights we can do, but like none of them will make the difference between level 3 and 4, so this fight's going to be just as hard as it's going to be right now anyway. So, like no matter what we do. So might as well do it now. Because it'll make it the other fights easier, like the frogs easier, because we'll have teleport. From the gloves, so. I wonder how much rain we can put down before we start the fight. Oh, we got it. We got the bug. I'll do it again. There we go. You see how far I cast it outside the max range? Such a great bug. I love it. It's not as bad as the infinite rainstorm ultimates that used to happen. That they finally fixed after like 20 years. Used to be you could cast Thunderstorm, um, Bloodstorm, and all that at infinite range. So. Dude, I'm going to have to get so many nails, too. Like, I'm probably not going to move that much in this game, but I need to put it on my boots just to make sure I don't slip. Okay, we should we should be good. Just wait for the cooldown one more time. Oh, craft a wand. It's nice too. The uh, Crafting recipe is random. So you just gotta save scum the crafting. So we have a 25% chance to make the wand we need. Three fire in a row. Nice. <laughs> Feels good, man. Come on, dude! Or did they make it where you can't anymore? Like, come on. Is it just, like, set to alternate, like, elements now or something? Or am I just getting bad luck? Dude, come on! Because I need the other skull to craft another wand at level 4. To make sure I have good wands. Ugh. You're kidding, right? You're kidding. You're actually joking. It's 
Someone shoot me, please. What if I do it from here? Come on. Work. What the? Like, you can't tell me they're all fire. Like, that doesn't make sense. Because you it used to be random. Like, that can't be... I can't be getting this ridiculous RNG, right? Right? My, my mind is blown right now. Like, I don't even know, like, how this is possible. Alright, I guess they made it all fire. That's stupid. So, I, I think Callius sometimes sells wands, so we'll go check him real quick. And then if not, we'll just use level 1 wand. Let's cast this one more time, just for good measure. Since we're here. Man, that's ridiculous. Like, I actually hope that's just really bad RNG. Because, like, that was the only, like, use, like, one of the very few uses of using this menu was crafting, like, wands early game. I should have saved before I opened his inventory. Do we have an improvised shield? You need pixie dust to make like garbage mage armor. Should I dual wands of this? Let's see. 8 to 9. It's like in 3 damage. But I lose a lot, like another hit of physical armor. It's not good. Okay, we should be able to just jump in the fight this time. Gonna fossil strike me. Remove my affinity. Oh, okay.
The problem is this is shocked. Hmm. Because it's shocked when I throw the... Use the wand, it doesn't shock them. Um, they're going for... What's his face? Sir Laura. Shoot, I didn't delay my turn. That's super dumb. I am stupid. I may have actually screwed myself because I didn't delay my turn. Yeah, if I shock him, I stun myself, don't I? Yeah, I'm dead. Man. I could use the potion, but all because I didn't delay my turn. Oh well. Also strike me again. Let's let him come up here and hit us. As long as we don't bleed, we're okay. Break some armor. Well, 
Like, the, this early game, I mean, early game is usually the hardest, but, like, this early game is so painful with this class. What's up, cat? What is this attack angle? Come on. Dude, I've not even half killed him. This line of sight is bad. He's gonna hit me once or twice. Or 40 times. Okay, he's dead. Dude, I should have freaking binding radiance to get an up executioner proc. Rip.
See, not even a real mage win because we use necromancy. Close enough, I guess. Alright, so lose the initiative, but we get teleport, so yay. Junk. Man, we gotta hit level four to get more spells. <clears throat> Just have like nothing right now. What's this? Does vaporize do damage? Arrow and poly. I think it's worth trying. So, what's the news? Let's try to get a little more cash. Because if it does damage, we'll use it. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, but for some reason I, I remember hearing or something that it does, but I think we can scrounge up enough money. You have summoning for free now. I don't know. What do you think? Should I grab summoning? Uh, grab a summon for this next fight, or should I see if vaporize does damage? A healer's walk is never done unless that is instead of pool. Suffers target, just like me, man. Vaporize. I actually think the summon will be more useful. It's just I'd be using summoning. But yeah, let's let's see. I saved right before that, so let's go to, back to Gowan. Because I just need more ranged damage spells. Because I have like basically none. Yes, because I can summon an air incarnate and get more stuns. And they do enough damage to be worth pre-summoning. Because also, here's a fun fact. Um, summoning isn't even... So they finally fixed it. So it says 10% per level. It's always been 10% per level. Um, but... This is this ten percent additive, so like it, it's not even multiplicative, so it's not even a true ten percent buff to your summon every level. So, summoning only it really is useful if you use it at low levels or if you're using ten points just to get the uh, um, champion. So like, if I ever do use summoning, I just get two points in it to get the infusions, and then whoop, whoop you do, you're done. Hey, that's nice. Got money. So yeah, I could still do that instead. Now, teleport me down to the ledge behind me near the tree stump. I'll bring you right after. So broke. Oh, I want to keep that wand if nice if I can.
uh, summoning level 10, you it's worth getting only because you get the champion incarnate, which has higher base damage. So it's worth getting summoning 10 just for that. But that's it. Oh wait, oh, I have these. Keep those. But yeah, taking tape, taking um, oh post ten, it's not worth it. I mean, if you are just so hard set on using a summoner, yes, just put as many points on them as possible. But if you're talking about actual use use and like, is it worth it? Then it's all, like I said, it's only worth getting two points just to get the infusions. And then if you want the champion incarnate mid and late game, you get 10 points just to get the champion incarnate. But yeah, the points beyond it is just not worth it. Okay, Let's see if it does damage. Doesn't say damage. You know, I could have just opened, like, GM mode for, like, two seconds. Like I said, if you're dead set on just having a hardcore, like, maxed out summoner, yes. Then put all your points in summoning and then use things like Spark Striker and stuff. Otherwise, don't bother. Yeah, I would say I would say if you're even max, min maxing a summoner, I would say get ten points. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, I would just say get ten points for the champion incarnate, and then put your points in things like pyrokinetic, um, so you can buff your spark striker and um, like firebrand and stuff. Okay, we'll just get summoning stuff then. And that, thank you. Um, so in terms of magic damage, it's like really, really good. So basically, um, you hit, if you hit a guy while you have Spark Striker or Sparks Master on, it will, like a little spark will jump off that hit person you hit and then go hit another enemy. Sparks Master will bounce once to one enemy. Sparks, uh, sorry, Spark Striker will bounce once. Sparks Master will bounce twice. Um, so basically, you the damage scales th through the roof if you hit like three or four enemies with like an AOE skill like Battle Stomp or Whirlwind. So you can just wipe fights really fast if you have enemies grouped up. I could demonstrate it if you want. I have a save for it. I don't mind loading it. It'd be fun actually. Yeah, it's it's AOE in the sense that yeah, the more people you hit, the better it gets. Oh, let's do the sp sparkler thugs. So yeah, for reference, um, just having two points in summoning, casting Farsight on Fusion, uh, sorry, sorry, casting Farsight and Fusion on the summon is equivalent to two and a half points of summoning. Don't disturb me again. And you have seen it. And you're... She inspects the ring close. This can't. Then there's your children, your supplicants, and you divide. Yeah, what of looky looky? Why don't you join? You glance at Ralph. Now where Ralph go? 
Uh, skill line, you craft, uh, you need to craft a warfare sp skill book together with a um, pyro skill book. That gives you spark striker, which is a self cast skill. Then if you do the same thing, you craft a warfare skill and a pyro skill, and one of them is the source version. Um, then you get sparks master, which you can cast on someone, um, either yourself or someone else, and in an AoE, it will give people sparks master. And then that is the two two bounces uh, version. So you can, so like a, a an ideal setup, for example, would be if if you had a comp like you had like a pyro geo mage on your team, and then you had like two melees, whether it be like a rogue and a knight. So like I'm I'm not even joking. This is a good thing if you have a a mage team that also like if you have a hybrid team that has like a mage, and then a couple melees. Like literally, it it is worth getting because you can just have the mage cast it on them. You need to give the melee savage sortilege, otherwise the jumps won't crit. Which you know we talked about how that's stupid. But yeah, you can you can just before the fight starts cast spark striker on them. They both get it. Then you start the fight and they just AOE cleave everything. Doesn't even matter if it's a rogue. The rogue can AOE cleave things. I mean AO, they they can, they can AOE cleave regardless, just because of like phantom knives and stuff. But but you get a, you get what I mean. Like it's ridiculous. You know, just just cause I'm gonna load it. Like I know that I know it's gonna. It won't take that long. You can just load it real quick. Roost and lawn is what I'm looking for. You'd want to use that on your incarnate. So basically, Spark Striker is one of the main ways you can just circumvent the fact that summons do garbage damage. Because then, really, you're not worried about the summon itself doing the damage. You're worried about the Spark Striker that you cast on it doing the damage. So all of a sudden, your your Incarnate actually does good damage. So it doesn't even matter if they're like a rank two, you, even if they're just like the tiny Incarnate. It doesn't even matter. You just cast it, a Spark Striker on them, and they do damage because Spark Striker scales with the person that casts it on them. So. I'm just gonna demonstrate real quick because it's hilarious. Because this fight is like a really good um, example for it. Here it is. See, so I cast like this. So, as you can see, he's an ally, that's why he gets it too. But everyone in the AoE is going to get the Sparks Master. Not that you she twists on the eye. Good boy. She removes. Where is the eye? Oh, hold on. It'll be so glad. Okay, so.
Oh my god, I messed up. Good thing I saved. I didn't even cast Spark Striker. Do I need to wait for the buffs again? Or do I have time? Yeah, I need to wait. Yeah, you can precast it too, so it lasts two turns. Annoying. See, so yeah, you can see I have the mod loaded, so he has Savage Sword Lich for free. But you can put it on them either way. Okay, let's do that again. So one, two, three, four, five. So I get ten extra free hits of the fire damage. So it's pretty good. It's not like super crazy or anything, but Okay, can I can I get an executioner proc? How much damage do I do? Four hundred, yeah, I'll I'll get enough damage. Can I batter him over there? Maybe? There we go. See, that's basically what it does. So it's not like God tier, like, like beyond physical damage, but it's good for magic damage. I mean, if you really want to see what's good for magic damage, you just do this. Uh, use fire traps basically. I'm not even kidding. Fire traps, like, seriously, if you're using a pyro mage, dude, slap fire trap and mass traps on them. Like, I'm trying to think of a stronger magic damage spell in the game, and I can't think of one. Oh, I'm sorry. Pyroclastic Eruption, but that's a, that's the source ultimate. But, like, other than that, Mass Fire Traps is the strongest mage spell in the game. Because it's literally retardedly broken. Okay.
I was gonna hit him, he's not gonna be happy. I can just summon a regular one, I guess. A water one. Get that dope healing in. No, my affinity. You jerk. Oh, no, I got it still. Okay, frog time. Yeah, so for reference about the fact that Aero Hydro usually does less damage is this fireball does 14. This is, this is like basically the same as this single target spell does. And an AoE with surface damage and dots. I should I think I think I should pre haste myself, but could be an ambush. Hmm. 
the the air frog is going to be the most annoying. Need to do a fire incarnate. If I do this, the air frog gets a, a turn at me. Just see what happens. Yep, I got a dot. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm already dead just because of that. Because the air guy goes, probably stuns me. Yeah, I need to get haste. Okay, what do I want less? Less, less, less hydro damage is okay. I don't actually have haste. So we're gonna Okay.
see where that damage is stupid. Shocked. Thank you, actually. I mean, not quite thank you, but. Yes, please. Why is this so stupid? Like, I can't even, like... Let's try to make it out of this alive. Also, why are these poison clouds infinite? It's so stupid. Like, why? Why would they? Where is he going? Oh, they're attacking Sir Laura. Yes, he is. He's also taking them out of the cave.
Oh, uh, that's that's great. I'm glad it's over, but like, this is gonna be really rough because I don't have any invis potions left. I don't have any emergency buttons. I can buy the one off. Uh, what's his name? Griff. But that's it. That's literally it for the rest of Act One. Right now, we just need to hit level four. Then things will start getting a little easier. Okay, circle around. Let's go finish the arrow quest. Then go kill the one fire slug for XP. Trash garbage. Most money. I've spotted something. I mean the No, that that fire slug won't give that much XP. I don't think. Also, there's a chest over here. Oh, that starts the fight? Okay. Yes, it had. Uh, well, I'm splashing summoning right now, but yeah, Hydro Arrow playthrough. See, this stupid guy is already hard. <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> Give me a break. Oh my god. Alright. Well. Well, it's not actually hard. He can't really kill me, but. Still annoying.
There we go. Squeeze that XP. Just to milk it. Dude, I'm gonna do like no damage. I have to get more memory. Okay, what what the heck like rank two skills are there? Let's see. There's still nothing in the combo skills. Let me see. Um I mean there's vacuum touch, but I need necromancer. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's it. Like, vacuum touch is it. Like what ring do I want? I have hydro arrow. I don't need the arrow now. We can keep the hydro though. So we can use rank two hydro. Um, let's see what what skills do I get? Dazing bolts. So I need one more. I can probably drop summoning. So let's say I drop summoning. So dazing bolt. And is that it for rank two? Yeah, it's all for rank two. Um then I don't think you do you get Wonder Blast? Or does that not show up till like level nine? I do get ice fan. I feel it will be quite some time before we find I do get winter blast. That's real good then. So ice fan and winter blast from that. So I need three. And then I need, I need to get two more for the buffs. Good god, I need so many memory. Let's just do one memory. Hmm. What if there are no sources? And why hasn't Alexander risen here yet? Oh, that's right. You walk up the approach bugger. How the skeleton damnation? Ah. Why a face I I could then the skeleton because you sir Odom I indeed at least from this realm. 
I suppose you excellent. Well, of course, I blend it very well. I had to recruit him because he blocks. Um... Where is Gowan? Oh. Remember how I saved and reloaded because of vaporize? I think he's still. I think I didn't go far enough east, so he's just standing over here somewhere. Yeah, he's there now. There he is. What the heck? Bruh. Look at this loser. Man, I was a little worried there because I'm not. I wasn't gonna be able to get his robe or the skills. Alright, we gotta kill Fane in a second here. Yeah, the recruiting him was literally just to remove his stupid line of sight. Oh, I need uncanny evasion too. God damn it. I need so much! Like, come on, man. See, that's not fair. What a pleb. See, now I have to walk all the way back. Oh, maybe I don't. By the way, since we mentioned Necromancer earlier, I tried Blood Mage build from X Factor Life. Um, was that I did very little, just ended up, ended my turns a lot because I only had two main damage dealing abilities. It was rather boring. I'd obviously take on other skill lines so I could buff myself and others, but it was still boring. Okay, so Act 1 Necromancer build. Um, Act 1 Necromancer build is going to be like a summoner hybrid. So what you do, two arrow, um, so you can use teleport, because that'll help you with stuff. Um, for the love of God, you need corpse explosion. Um, so craft a warfare and a pyro book together. So you can use teleport and... and uh, and corpse explosion to do tons of damage and AOEs. Then you can get your two points of summoning, so you can get the summon incarnate and the infusions. Don't worry about putting any more more points into it, just like we talked about earlier. Um, so you can use that. Then use sword and shield, so you can throw your shield for damage. Um, then you can use the the sword to um, just use battle stomp and battering ram as needed. So you're, you're doing some knockdowns for your party. And then beyond that, you know pyrokinetic, so you can use uh, peace of mind and haste to buff yourself and friends then stack warfare for damage that's it and then you know necromancer so you can do the skills for like infect and mosquito swarm but yeah that's it you should have you should at that point you should have plenty to do like you should never have to end your turn
between summoning, um, using your three attack, uh, necromancy attack skills and stuff like that, you should have plenty. Can I reach this? Why did I even learn that? Why did I bother? I should reload so I don't learn that. It's embarrassing to have it in there. Oof, the memory. Um... I also tried a Necromancer Summoner build too in the past and it was working well. With having a lot to do, it was just the pure blood mage build. That was rough. Yeah, like honestly, don't worry about doing pure unless that's just really what you want to do. Just splash summoning until you hit level 9, or until you hit Act 2. Um, go to the Advocate in Act 2, get the free source point, um, so you have two source, and then go save Hanag as soon as possible in Cloisterwood, and then buy Grasp the Starve from her. Then you can drop summoning and just one shot the rest of the game. Go rob um, Stinktail. Yeah, if you wanna, you want uh, a better uh, Necromancer build, look up Senti. I would never recommend Fextra Life builds. Like Fextra Life is fine. I just I have problems with some of the things they recommend because it's just bad advice for newbies and stuff like putting points in Constitution. Like, I don't know. Their builds are fine. They just rub me the wrong way because they, they have some pretty bad advice in their builds. Like, what was it? Like, DE came out and they had this whole build revolving around Torturer and it, all it does is just crap damage. It's like, what are you? why are you recommending this? Like, if they had prefaced it being like, okay, this is just a meme, then like, then, then great. Wait, didn't I get another memory and I still don't have enough? What the? Oof. That sucks. Oh, it's because I have don't have the gloves on. Here we go. Okay, now we can reorganize. I recommend Senti on YouTube. He's he's like honestly, in my opinion, he's the only person on the planet that has good builds at the moment. Oh, uh, let me spell it out. Yeah, on. And his uh, Steam name is different. Same guy, just different names. He's one of the very few people that has more hours than I do in this game. <laughs> like, holy crap.
Dude, he plays so much. Like he used, he's using De Definitive Edition even though Definitive Edition doesn't change anything. Like he's using it as an excuse to make like 50 to 100 more videos. Just because he loves the game. But yeah, I mean, like 99% of what Lost, Lost Center recommends or Cinti recommends is really good. Really good advice and builds. Okay. Hey, what's up, man? Welcome back. Sorry, I uh, go like I'm sad. Sad you showed up late, cause like I have to call the stream here soon. Maybe like another thirty minutes. I just have work in the morning. It's like one a.m. need it on this platform. Oh, Fane's still in our party. Rip, one second. I'll dismiss him after this. I'm not cheating, I swear. Build names for PoE 2. Oh, this. Okay, yeah. Like, Pillars has way more build freedom than this game does. Like, there's only, like, maybe, like, eight or nine, like, good builds in this game. And then in Pillars, it's like, just slap whatever you want together, and it's gonna be awesome and fun to play. Like, I really like Pillars. It's a really good game. I, I very highly recommend it. And I would, I would say it easily has a much better combat system than this one. 
I will say the the lore has a lot of jargon and stuff, so I mean, don't be surprised if you just don't enjoy the story, but like the combat is spectacular. But but if you're someone who really likes deep fantasy games too, like you you probably enjoy the story too. It's just just imagine reading a book and then that's what Pillars is as well. In addition to its good combat. It's just a book. <laughs> I've streamed that game too a bit, but I mean, I probably should stream that too. Like, nobody streams that game. Like, I don't understand. It's not as popular as Divinity, but it's not like unheard of. It was very successful still. Like, I should, I really do need to play it again. I haven't, I bought like the best, like the highest edition or best edition or whatever of that game. And I have yet to play any of the DLC that I got for free or I paid for. Like, I, I need to play it, play it again. Fitted with five long metal skewers. Ooh. She doesn't I bought you off. That's spicy. Oh. Rip. Ooh, here this guy comes. Really? Okay, let's go kill Yero, I guess. Well, it would have been nice if this had finesse on it instead of wits. Or honestly, wit, uh, finesse instead of necromancer. Either stat would have been nice, because I could wear it if it had finesse on it. A hundred and four. Good. What the fudge? What the? What the heck? Why? They said they. How in depth is the character creation screen? Um. So I can't remember how many classes there are. There's like nine or eleven I can't remember how many so basically like you know appearance and all that and then you can choose to be a single class or a multi-class um, so like each class has you know their 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 skill tree or whatever that they gain levels um, and then if you multi-class you get access to both trees of both classes but you have slow, slower progression down the two trees of, uh, of skills my cat is moving my mouse Move cat, but yeah, I mean it's not it's a it's it's more complicated in divinities, definitely. I mean yeah, I should just play it sometime if you want to see it. Cat, stop rubbing against the mic. <laughs> what about this guy? Okay. Like how how the what the how. How is my question? Here I am. Yeah, cool. I don't have much time till like uh, my, like Saturday, but I can stream again on Saturday probably.
cat, you're messing with the mic. Okay, we'll be, we'll be okay. He has contamination. He also have has opportunists. <laughs> Rip. Alright, well. I wasted that invis. Am I dead? I can't hit her. I think I can take a turn of her, right? Yeah, because AI are too dumb to attack you with a knockdown. I think, like when you're, uh, when you have armor. Because they should. Like, it'd be smart if they did. Okay, remind me to get rid of Fane. Good grief. I'm gonna forget the entire game. Why is the turn order broken, dude? kill myself okay Fane you're not supposed to be in the party anymore. Go away. Is it not enough that you travel with me? Go on then. Bark away. Are you certain you Yes, 
Alright, go on then. When you hire those pals like Fane and other guys from the beginning, are they providing you some skills or items? Any profit to them just to hire and abandon them at, after each by each? So I recruited that guy because where he's standing, um, like when you where, when you go to find him, he's actually blocking you from robbing Gawain. So I recruited him so he wouldn't be blocking me from robbing him. Um, and I just forgot to dismiss him. The other use would be if uh, you just wanted to have a safety net and on honor mode. Like if I wanted to kind of super, kind of like pseudo cheese this, I could just have like Fane stand there forever and then go, um, like if I died, just have Fane come revive me. Like that would be another use. But no, there's no like real use really. All right, this garbage. She gets uh, fire immunity aura. Yeah, it would be fun if there was like a mod for that game. Um, because it has the play pause combat, but it would be super f cool if you had had co-op still in it, where even if you couldn't pause, if if you, if you could just slow down. Like, and you had a, a party of, because you have a party of five characters. If you had, like, five people, like, they had to micro a single character, like, that'd be fun. That'd be super fun. Because not being able to pause would be hilarious. <laughs> I don't think it's possible to make that mod. Like, it's probably like Skyrim, because, like, Skyrim, there's, like, they there's literally, like, people taking forever to develop a mod that does a multiplayer. I don't even think it'd be possible. Okay, so how the hell am I killing this guy? Because he gets water immunity. Oh, rip. I can't. I can't even do that. I don't think it does enough damage. It does. Rip you. And apparently no one else entered combat. How am I? That's stupid. Ready. Oh. Yeah, you're right. He is slightly, uh... Like, the, he has negative base water resist, so the water immunity isn't quite... make him immune. So I can still stun him, I think. Can I, or is he immune to this? Yeah, he's immune to frozen. So I can't click on him because of the cloud.
Go away. Why is it still going? It's not even going down. Did you hear that? Something's up ahead. What? What's going on? Do I need to? I need to soak it up. There we go. Ooh. God damn it. I have to put a point in the constitution. Nah, screw that shit, dude. Like, no. Thirty-nine? Good God. Oh my goodness, come on. Don't be stupid. The <laughs> circle jerking. <laughs> Okay, let's do Houndsmaster and then I'm going to call it a night. How 
how many was it, Del? How many of them did you let go? I... One more. Go on, speak. That's why you're here, isn't it? It, it isn't right. All right, Del. It isn't right to save the entire realm from divine damned chaos. Please. God, no, how much blood you have on your hands now. You can't let them go. This is our only hope against the void world. Okay. All characters could use Mass of the Shapeshifter. Uh, you'd have to have different. You have to have to, you have to, have to craft ones because they nerfed them, so you can't take them off anymore. He looks. You got a nice marble to you, haven't you? Because it used to be if you crafted one, you could take it off. So I need to stun Houndsmaster, because I'm not going to go first next round because I lose peace of mind, which means I lose wits. Stay close together. Thank you. Where are you going? I go next now.
That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> wow, this is like, okay, just just make a clip. This is like the, the only time you're ever going to see this build doing what it's supposed to do. Dang, son. Oh, I just lost my affinity. Well, I get high ground. It's fine. Stay together. Dang it. Stay together. Thank you. Really? Came up here for nothing. Mage is being useful, you clipped it. <laughs> Mage is OP <laughs> stop. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh my goodness. Literally like a historical moment as Mage is like as like a mage does his job. Like adequately. Can you believe it? The mage was as good as like a knight using battle stomp there. Like that's that's amazing. And I don't know how it picks who the surface shocks, because when a surface is electrified and someone has their armor gone, like it it removes the surface being shocked and shocks them. But I don't know how it picks. So I could have easily just as easily stunned myself. Cool. <clears throat> you know, one second, before we quit, there's a meme I want to try.
octopus tiger teeth. Just like me, man. See, like, look what I mean. I need as much, almost as much memory as I have intelligence. Just super rip. There we go. So now we are going to be better at going first now because of the wits. Cool. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, she's broke. All right, guys, I really appreciate you watching. This was a fun stream, and then I actually had fun playing this class. So, not bad. I'll probably stream on Saturday or Sunday. So, I'll see you all then. Leave a follow if you want to see a notification when I stream next. So, I'll see you all later.